Spanish name, but moved over from South Korea to coach. They are Spanish players. He's one of the nicest coaches on the circuit. He was one of the nicest players on the circuit. Nothing's changed except he's gone from player to coach. Tricky little combination, this, because you've got the coach that speaks four or five languages, um, but Spanish and Georgian weren't, weren't on his list. And, uh, he's, um, he's found some way of communicating with his players, probably Spanish, because he's good at languages, so he pick things up fairly quickly. Last minute gone, no score yet. It was Camillo who came up with that Sode Tsurikomi Goshi effort and now Sherazadishvili looking to go over on the right side. Ayatoshi shape. Camillo had that blocked anyway. That is really just trying to free that hand up. And that, when Camillo gets a grip on the sleeve, it's, it's vice leg. Couldn't quite come up with the Uchi Mata. Camillo is one of the classiest throwers that I've ever seen. Almost got the change of direction there. comfortable with that grip isn't he <laughs> got to try and, and beat him so the grip but once Camillo gets that left sleeve he's really making things difficult for him and then if he doesn't have the sleeve then he attacks first so it's 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 upsetting it really gets caught there so for all the dominating of the grips the second that Sherazadish really had an opportunity to turn one of those weak efforts from Camillo to his advantage he did and he leads by Wazari now. That was the tactic that Camillo was employing. If, if he lost the, the dominant grip, then he would just attack. But his inability to score off the dominant grip has put him behind now. Plan B was, if you can't get the dominant grip, come up with any attack, but the attack wasn't strong enough and Sherez Adish really managed to turn it to his advantage and that's what's resulted in the scoreboard that you see there. Wazari, the lead with a minute left to go. He, he actually didn't launch an attack, he just set himself up in, in that awkward position and it was Sherez Adishvili who got Camilla moving and then managed to turn him.
Last roll of the dice here for Camillo. We've got to come up with a score now. And he does. <laughs> Oh, the Brazilians are screaming for Ippon. Ah. We're going to leave it. Two positive scores. One from Sherazadish, really. A good counter. And Camillo coming up with the tying score. Almost as time expired there. So we're back to both fighters being a little bit cagey. Koji Gary from Camillo and Sheraz really was wilting at the end. And the Brazilian. Yeah, it says Nicola.